today we will uh, solve the numerical problem um, of uh, one from single cell alternator and another another from induction motor first uh, let us uh, let me write the question of alternator the question is uh, i have written it uh, as uh, 60 kb to 24 50 hertz single cell alternator has effective armature resistance of 0. of 0 0.16 ohm and armature leakage reactance of 0 0.07 ohm okay calculate the voltage induced in the armature when the alternator is delivering rapid current at a low power factor of npf means unit power factor and 0 0.7 lagging power factor and 0 0.7 leading power factor uh, we have to calculate the emf how much EMF is induced in the alternator? Considering three cases in the question, we have it, it is given that uh, first uh, first case uh, we have to consider the unit power factor. In second case, 0 0.7 leading power factor, and third one is the 0 0.7 leading power factor. Okay. Then first we have to write whatever the data is given to us from the question. What will you get? Sixty KB two twenty four fifty has fifty KB twenty four fifty has Okay, and another two parameters that is the armature resistance, armature resistance 0 0.016 ohm and a 0 0.016, 0 0.016 ohm. And another one, leakage reactance, 0 0.07, 0 0.07 ohm. Calculate the voltage induced in the armature when the alternator is delivering rated current at a load. load power factor okay. here the data is given that 60 kb 224 50 hertz single phase alternator and armature resistance is 0 0.016 ohm and leakage reactance is 0 0.07 ohm okay now uh, i have to consider the what is the retard current ia ia 60 kb by 220 volt. Okay, so that is 60 1000 divided by 220. That is, we will get that is, we will get how much? Okay, now we will get the armature current, that is the retard current. Okay. No. Okay, uh, now we will come.
square plus i added whole square plus i excess okay this is the formula so uh, in the question we have uh, we have the value of voltage and cos by unit power of the means cos by is equal to what one okay so in the formula b cos square plus i a array whole square plus i a excess whole square uh, we have put the value from the question we know that we have the value of voltage 220 volt ok then let me write here 220 volt into cos by 1 plus i a how much we have calculated previously 272.72 ampere 272.72 ampere and 72 into are how much are is 0.016 0.16 in case of unit power factor. Now, consider second case. Consider case 2. Case 2 is that case 2 is 0 0.7 lagging power factor. Okay. 0 0.7 lagging Seven lagging power factor. Okay, here power factor means cos phi is zero point seven. Uh, here the formula is for lagging power factor E A is equal to square root of B cos phi plus I A R A square plus B sin phi plus I A excess whole square. Okay. We have got we have the value of cos phi zero point seven. 
zero point uh, cos phi is equal to zero point seven and sin phi is equal to zero point seven one. Okay. Now we have we will uh, calculate the dA for the Kelvin power factor. Okay. D cos phi.
solution it is given that a tea has six for 50 hertz induction motor has a stream of one person and another is one person is at no load and four person at full load calculate the no load speed full load speed synchronous speed and the frequency of rotor current at standstill and frequency of rotor current at full load okay then first whatever data given we have to write okay that is a three phase given data given three phase six four three phase six four fifty hash
given 4 percent that is 0 0.04 ok the formula nsf is equal to 1 minus f factor equal to ms ok 1 minus 0 0.04 Okay. Okay. This is all about the today's classes.